we have the brand new Hick Micro Condor 2.0. This is the CQ50L. So these are the 640 sensor uh, in the 50 mil objective. And we're gonna have a look at it and go through some of the new things and details. So uh, open it up and we've got the manual in there. Uh, we've got the unit here, it comes in a nice bag. We'll get into that in a moment. Uh, we also have a strap and a neck strap as well and the cable you need as well as of course some charging options the two batteries and your battery charger also and a cleaning cloth as well i'm going to chuck that all there we'll put the box aside and this is the unit itself so it's had a little bit of a redesign since the original condors i have one of those here this is the 25 this is still a current model the new models in the 2.0 currently as of making this video are only the 640 sensors uh, this is a 384 but you'll see a number of things here that vary the power buttons move from the top there down to here which makes a lot of sense when you've got it in hand you can press it with your thumb the focus uh, has moved from the front here, which you have to put a fair bit of force on, to the back here. The idea here being, again, one hand being able to control all of it, you can move that with your finger and not have to use a second hand to do that. It's a really good feature, really useful feature. Your three other buttons, your front one here, if you press it, it's your laser rangefinder, uh, if that's turned on, otherwise it's photo and video. Your menu button, which will cycle through your color palettes first, uh, and then if you hold down, you get into your menu and your bottom button there is your zoom. Uh, and it has a, a number of steps of zoom. The base mag on this one is 2.7 and it will increase up to, on digital zoom, 21.6. Now the color palettes that come with it, you've got pretty standard white hot, black hot, fusion and red hot as well as red monochrome and green monochrome. One of the other features regarding the color palettes is the ability to select which ones you do want enabled and you can turn some off. So if you're always going between white hot and black hot, for example, and then you have to cycle through the other ones to get back to white hot, uh, you can actually turn the others off and just go between the ones you want to go with, between. And you can do that for all six or turn them all down to one. A great little feature. So you've got your USB-C charging point, there and that's also how you can get photos and videos off uh, if you or you can use the app as well there's also been added the ability to take this strap here and put it on this side the original ones didn't have the mounts on here if you were wanting to put the strap on the other side this one you do have the mounts so you can take it on another upgrade they've done is to the battery compartment they've got this textured part here which you can lift up then get a good grip on it and twist it nice and easily and your battery will drop out now speaking of batteries, you might notice that this is a little thicker than the normal one you would get in the original Condor series. These are the normal 18650s. These are a 21700. Now these ones have about double the capacity of the 18650 for a standard out the box sort of solution. So it will give you a longer runtime on the unit which is fantastic. As well as those different upgrades to the actual body and the ergonomics, it also has a number of upgrades on the inside as well. The field of view has been improved on this unit. You can see a little bit more in there, as well as the NETD rating has gotten lower, which means it's improved. And so the images that we are getting should be looking a little nicer. Another thing I've noticed using it is that as you are panning around, it's a much smoother image. It's less jumpy than perhaps the previous version was. All the standard stuff on it, you've got your eye cup which you can rotate left or right, you've got your focus for your screen there, uh, we've talked about the buttons and you've got your laser range finder on the front, you've got your mounting port on the bottom there which will take you a standard quarter inch screw which works for tripods, or remote mounts, anything on those lines or you can turn that into a Picatinny or Arca plate and then of course the cap on the front objective as well. So we'll get into the menu and take you through all the different settings and all the different features that are involved on the software side of things. So let's get into the buttons and menu options on the new Condor 2.0. So the front button, uh, if we press that on top, and that will be the laser range finder. We're too close here. We are not far enough away from anything to actually get anything on that, but that would normally give us our laser range finder. If we hold it down, that will also give you recording. Now, if you happen to have LRF turned off, you will be able to use that to take photos. Let's go into the menu. If you press the menu button, you will cycle through your different color palettes. So you've got your white hot, 
black ot, fusion red, red monochrome, uh, and green monochrome. And then if we hold that down, that will get us into our menu proper. So this first step of the menu will allow us settings for our brightness, 1 through to 10, our contrast, 1 through to 10 as well, our sharpness, this one uh, is 1 through to 5. And then we also have our colour tone. So we can go for a warm image or a colder image. Come down to a bit of personal preference and sort of the situation you're in. The Zoom Pro is, is algorithmic and it, it tends to sort of enhance the image quality when you are zooming in as well. Good thing to have turned on. Let's go into the further menu. Now into the albums is where you can see all your videos and images. Down here is where you can turn your Wi-Fi on. So if you want to connect a phone or a tablet, that's where you can do that here. The picture in picture, if we turn that on, you will see there is a, a zoomed in uh, element at the top there. And that will, uh, is a really good, good option to use. Uh, particularly see that on scopes, but it can work very well on a spotter as well. It's good for identification. This is where your laser rangefinder settings are, where you can change it from uh, at once only. So when you press the button, it'll range and give you the range on that or a continuous, so it'll continuously give you a range for five seconds, 10, or whatever the appropriate time frame listed there is. It also has the horizontal option for the laser rangefinder. So the LRF setting will give you the straight line from you to the target. It also gives you a horizontal factor, which is calculated with the angle that you're looking at to give you a corrected distance. This is where you can adjust your palettes. So if you don't like using black, hot, or fusion, or red hot, Let's say we take red monochrome out as well. So we just want to go between white hot and green monochrome. We go back to the main screen and we can press that. And you'll see we flick just between those two. We don't have access to the other ones. And so it does mean that you can get rid of any of the, the palettes that you don't wish to use on a given time or generally for general purpose use. You've got your scene modes. These again sort of alter the settings in terms of uh, what it highlights. There's observation detection. Detection is probably the one you'd use more hunting. It's going to sort of provide a, a better image on moving targets and on animals. Uh, and observation is sort of the standard image. Again, a little bit of personal preference on that. You might like the look of one over the other. The audio option here is whether you want to record audio when you, the unit is recording. Auto screen off, so when you drop this down for a given period of time, it will turn the screen off and pull it back up to your eye and turns on. You can turn that setting off if you don't like the way that works. Hot tracking will actually identify the hottest part of, on the screen and show you where that is. Can be good to sort of see hard to find, uh, hard to find animals. On-screen display allows you to set up what you see, whether you see a time, date, or turn everything off. The brand logos, whether you want Hick Micro to show up on the screen or not. There's two USB settings in these devices. One of them allows you to connect and transfer your files across, and the digital option allows you to use your computer to be able to view what's happening on the thermal. DPC is your dead pixel correction, so if you find that a pixel is not responding as it should, you can go and highlight it and it will attempt to correct it and improve the image. Burn prevention, because it has an OLED screen, it is designed to uh, allow a little bit of movement on the screen so you don't get that burn in that you could get if like the logo is static for a long period of time using it. Language is self-explanatory, work out what language you want it to run. The screen style uh, you see on the 2.0 series uh, in the Condors and the Falcons have a round screen round on the edges, but if you don't like the look of that, you can actually go back to the square. It will restart the device. Okay, so now we have our square screen. But given that the round screen is one of the big features on this, I'm going to switch that back over to round. Here is where you can set the time and also the date and where you can select between yards and meters. Here you can tell it to auto power off after a given amount of time, if that's a useful feature for you. You can restore all the settings, you can reset the unit, uh, you can keep a diagnostic log for any issues that are happening, particularly useful if you are troubleshooting and having some problems. That information is very useful to be able to track down what's going on. And then of course you've got your version information as to what it's up to and how much memory you have left. That's it for the menu. The last button on the unit, aside from the power button, is the rear button, and that is your zoom in. You see we go from 2.7 to 5.4, 10.8, and up to 21.6. And that is it. That's a menu run through on the Condor 2.0.
Guys, thank you for joining us. That is a look at the Hit Micro Condor 2.0. This is the CQ50L. There is also a CQ35L with a smaller objective, and they are both up on the website if you want to check them out further.